All right, so Eric and Peter here again talking to our good friend Steve Petrato from Horizon Hobby. Steve, how's it going, man? Hey guys, doing great. This event is crazy busy, yeah. but I'm having a good time. I'm a little tired, but uh, you look a little overall, tired, it's right? Rhone National, so you gotta have a good time. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, what do you think about the whole setup? You know, this event is really cool. The track is, is quite challenging. It's a really cool course too, and what better backdrop is Lady Liberty in New York City? Yeah. Um, we've got we've got some of the best pilots all all around here, so it's the who's who of drone racing, and uh, some crazy good talent, crazy fast guys. Yeah. Cool. Excellent. So you're racing too, and on top of the managing the team, right? Oh, you are. Oh yeah, yeah. I, I put in, I, I dual roll. You gotta have fun when you come to events, yeah, but sure. sometimes it's pretty tough. But I, I, uh, I'm racing in the wing event and uh, team event. So uh, both for, you know, there's a team final and the, well, there's a team event. There's individual racing, there's freestyle and wing racing. Yeah. I'm just competing in two. So far, I'm qualified in finals with uh, our new wing. So pretty yeah, cool. what is that? Cool. Yeah, so yeah, it's, yeah. Um, this is the theory. The Theory Type W, and you guys may have heard of Sorry. our Theory X, which is our quad yeah. frame. Yep. So this is our Theory Type W. It's done by the Blade team, not okay. not our airplane team. So really, James okay. and um, James and I and all the other guys. We had some of the airplane guys help us with the airfoils and that sort of thing. But it's designed to kind of take all the same equipment as a multi rotor. So it's our same quad motors, 2205, 2300, 2350. Um, it's got our safe technology receiver on board, so it's got a launch mode, which makes it really nice because you can just put it in launch and toss it, cool. as opposed to these guys here with these big old wings, yeah. and they're barely getting off the line, and we're just right off the line with yeah. it, so it's really nice. That's awesome. That's so cool. for wing racing, it makes it a huge, it makes your launch kind of easy. You just yeah. click it and go. Yeah. And it's got other flight modes that allow you to unlock everything else. We're running the 4S 1300 batteries, same battery we run on our racers, so yeah. really for any quad racer that's in the get, wants to get in the wings, this is it. Um, camera on board is a standard HS 1177 Spectrum camera. Um, it's going to come with our Spectrum video transmitter. We're, we're running the Emerge and RC Tramp video transmitters at the event here, so that's what you see this up here. It's kind of a cool technology. Um, won't have LEDs on it, we're just required to run them at the event here. Standard servo system, it's a captured aileron, so we'll never snap off and a horn will come out, so it's fully captured. You've got uh, this button here, and the other neat thing about this is it can break down fully and go into a backpack. A lot of the biggest problem with wing racing is these guys are they're driving here. They're not. They can't. You can't put it in an overhead. Yeah. Let alone check it. So this thing, you push these two buttons, the wings come off, goes back into your backpack, and then when you get it out of the box, you click them back on, and you go. It's really nice. So even the the servo wires. Yeah, it's all it's all in there. You just, socket, like you just connect the servo wire and go. Nice. Yeah, so really besides nice. of the launch assist, are there any other functions to kind of help help the flyers to so the, be shiny side up? So in, in that launch mode, you can also fly it in that mode. It's a very limited bank angle, so you're gonna get yeah. about I think it's like 30 degrees. So it's it's a really soft flying feel. Then gotcha. there's like an intermediate mode that gives you a 90 degree limitation. Yeah. So you can still race with it, but not go inverted. Yeah. And then there's a normal acro mode, so you can fly and just you know fly oh, loops, rolls, aerobatics, race, that sort of thing. That's really we're, awesome. We're pushing about 95 miles an hour out of the box 95 miles really? an hour out yeah. of the box yeah what, what, wow. what kind of flight times uh you can we well we've been doing about uh seven to ten minutes of full throttle really yeah. really yeah now with that wow. design it, that's gonna fly slow too i assume right no it's got well be, oh no be, yeah, yeah totally I mean, no this, beginner, thing, like this thing can go you can not walking pace but very comfortable so if you're just getting speed. into it you could you yeah. could kind of ramp oh, up yeah. so totally. it's really cool is this available yet not it's not even announced yet so you guys are kind of the first to see oh, it well, everyone really? here is the first to see it wow um so we we decided to bring them kind of last minute yeah and uh really it's it's just been a it, all the racers here that are building their own yeah they're like wow i really could have just put that together this weekend and flew it. Oh, wow. uh, yeah, and then the quad guys, the best comment I heard was, I'm not into the arts and crafts thing, guys. I, I put a quad together. I'm not going to glue and, and mold wood and yeah. you know, sand wood. I just want something to work. So those guys are really stoked about it. Too. Right. What okay. do you think the cost is going to be? It'll be 300 bucks out of the box, buying and fly FPV gear. With FPV gear, gear all set up. Yeah. Wow. wow. How That's many amazing. milliwatt transmitter you got? It'll have? be a 200 milliwatt in there. Oh, so you got deep yeah. good range. If yeah. you've got a great really diversity cool. ground station, you can have really good range. Yeah. Uh, almost overconfident range, as James could probably tell you. <laughs> <laughs> what are you What are you using for uh, goggles? Are you using the Spectrum? Uh, focals, uh, yeah. A focal. pair of focals are good. Uh, right now at the races, I'm running the HD twos. I'm running a different module in there that doesn't quite fit the focals. So okay. trying that out, and uh, it's just a diversity module. A lot of that they require us. They don't require us to use the ground station here, um, but you can plug in. They've got a lot better setup than just a standard goggle sure. set. Um, you using DX9? DX9. All of our team pilots here, so all the top guys are using DX9s and the Spectrum 4648 race okay. receiver. So it's a diversity receiver, not just a satellite. Oh, nice. nice. Cool. Awesome. So what's the new uh, quad frame? Yeah, so the, the, the theory frame right? is the Theory X. I'll get both in here. Um, well, this is the same thing, but one has props on it. We'll use this one. 
So this guy is our Theory X, and it's a, a carbon fiber frame. It's gonna have unlimited camera tilt. Okay. So a lot of these frames are kind of limited to about you know 50, 60 degrees. This thing can go to the mat. You can go 90 if you want. Obviously that wouldn't make sense, but there's no limitations on camera angle here. You got your video transmitter antenna protected. And you also have this night, so if you hit something, it's pretty. the antenna's pretty protected because it's in the back here. Mm -hmm. And then we've got this perch right up top that looks kind of looks like ears, but it ba basically what it's for is holding a GoPro. So it's a built-in GoPro mount okay. uh, for a four. And wow. we also have a, a session mount that we shared on Thingiverse, so you can 3D print it and slap it on there. So we're not charging for that either. Yeah. Um, and then, of course, it's you know it's a stack design. So pilots, your flight controller, your PDB, your VTX check. all go underneath the main top tray. Mm -hmm. uh, and for travel, it's nice. Or if you have like multiple pilots, top pods, you can have video transmitter and camera. Pull one off of one pod, put it on another and go. It's a nice setup. Um, yeah, five inch on this model. We have a four inch model and a six inch model. So, so you're that you're selling just the frame. You're going to sell the speed controls, motors, and everything else as well. Like as a yeah, Horizon's really ramping up their FPV game. So right now we uh, we'll have we have our, our thrust ESCs, which are just 20 amp real basic ESCs. BL Heli is still really good. Uh, we've got our flight. We've got our um, our flight controller coming. We've got more flight controllers coming. We've got more ESCs. Race worthy flight controllers. Oh yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. 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 Spectrum team has been working with uh, some some guys in, in the industry that everyone knows and I won't say the name yeah. but uh, it's a it's a really next-gen system so it's gonna be good yeah. so then you'll get this you'll get the spectrum support so you don't need to be an expert in PIDs and all that crazy stuff well yeah I mean it'll come out of the box like a normal board so you can you know you can call in our guys if you need help but really this stuff is designed for the racer so yeah. it, it, it works out. but it does need a little it does need some tuning but the stuff they're working on comes out of the box and I've done it taking up dry board Put it in a model and flown it. Yeah, that's really good. Wow, yeah. that's really amazing. <clears throat> I mean, I know we got to hang out what year and a half ago, two years ago. Yeah, same and same there was the Blade 350 times, the second oh. generation coming out. Oh, yeah. I don't think you guys had any any FPV they, racers no, yet, or you time, were just no. getting into it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mach 25. And it, yeah, and it's amazing first. in a year and a half. I mean, you're you're down to having a wing, having yeah, a bunch of bunch of racers that are really race worthy racers and getting yeah. into the next generation. So it's great to see a giant, the Horizon. <laughs> You know, yeah, being, it's, supporting it's the, the Titanic, industry yeah. and supporting the <laughs> hobby. Yeah. Yeah, moving a big corporation is, is is interesting. It's it's taken a tiger team internally yeah. to kind of knock out the standard process. It and takes a long time it. to steer a big ship. Yeah. Well, yeah. This is a yeah. very uh, rapidly expanding segment of the, of the industry too. So yeah. I mean, oh, yeah. in two months and you've got. Like yeah. if you're, you're and, standing still if you don't. honestly I've been watching Steve and kind of following his, his yeah, shenanigans and his activities and I, I think it really helps to have a brand manager that, that is actually <laughs> dead into it or is yeah. into it he doesn't only come here to promote a brand he'll you know get his hands on the sticks and, and take it out for the race and hang out with the guys and it's actually really cool I remember watching your videos when you first started flying like the first Blade 350 mm -hmm. warfare camera and it was yeah. like Wow, that's really cool. He's so lucky. He gets all the cool stuff first. <laughs> and now he's racing. And he just keeps like, getting better. The camera stuff is like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. We, we've we've changed directions a little bit, so we're we're putting a lot more time into this in this category as a company. Um, so we've got Spectrum team supporting us, the Blade team supporting us, the Airplane team supporting us. That's you know, The CEO and all of our uh, all of our board directors are just hardcore about FPV. So uh, we're still going to maintain the rest of the business, of course, as we normally do. Yeah. But really driving home this uh, new and budding industry. Fun. Now, let me ask you, what do you use for a charger when you come to these events? So we, uh, it depends. You know, we, we, all of our guys run different things. Um, it's really key to have a soldering iron, so we have, like to have that charger. I like to have at least a two-port charger. Okay. So some of the dynamite chargers out there, two-port, four-port chargers are good too. Um, you know, it depends on on what it kind of just shows up. Behind us isn't right now isn't a, isn't a Horizon charger, but it's one of the other team guys that are just borrowing the power that happens to be right next to our tent. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it just depends. But really, it's key to have a two-port charger. You don't race all the time, every back-to-back, -back, so you can have one port at a big event, but if you're at a local event, you gotta have two batteries rolling constantly. Yeah. Cool, so from the aerial photographer in me, oh, yeah. a little question, what's next in the Chroma line, or is there anything to look forward to this year? Um, there'll be some stuff coming out. We, you know, we, like I said, we kind of shifted directions a little bit, so you won't see that you know, that, that directly competitive product against the kind of DJI's yeah. product line, um, but we're, we're taking a little different route there, so there's some cool okay. stuff coming, um, but you know, it's definitely, like I said, our focus is on this right now. Yeah. So you won't you, you won't see that that Chroma two probably, but you'll definitely see some cool stuff in that category. But Horizon as a company is still reselling other products too, rather than unique. Yeah, so if you're into unique, yeah, we, totally. So if you want a Q500 or the new Typhoon H, we sell that stuff absolutely. We're we're still partnered up with them, and uh, it's a good relationship. So we'll continue to do that. And of course, you guys have uh, responsible for the whole tiny whoop. Uh, <laughs> I would say, you know, did you we think that was going to happen with that so little? So this is the this is interesting. 
same thing. I love what Jesse's done for the hobby and, and, and our, our product and, and Tiny Whoop and getting people into it. It's awesome. You know, we, we originally had the Inductrix when we released it. It was, it was like, oh, this thing flies so good. And it, was like two, it was a year and a half ago. Like, FPV was in its infancy as far as this goes. And we put an FPV camera on one of our Spectrum cameras on it. We didn't decase it. And we're like, oh, it doesn't fly. Don't worry about it. But we literally thought about doing it. And we just said, no, it's too heavy. We won't, we, it can't support it. And then these guys figured out how to do it and did it well. And good for them. It's, That's a it's huge awesome. movement on yeah. Facebook. Oh, it's, yeah. It's it's one I, got, I got one. <laughs> you know, yeah, you, you, you won't find anyone here that doesn't probably have one. I knew. Yeah. So, yeah. That's it's, amazing. It's so, yeah. Yeah. Shout out to Jesse Perkins and the Tiny Whip guys. For, yeah. Yeah. Well, and your team for coming up with the idea in the first place. Who yeah. <laughs> would have thought, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. saw it, you know. Well, what else are you doing in, in terms of, um, like, for somebody who's just getting into FPV racing? What are you going to, you still the Mach 25, right? Yeah, so we got, uh, of course, we've, we've partnered with Immersion on the Vortex, putting the Spectrum radio system in there. We have uh, some really cool stuff coming out with another another product maybe by them this by the end of the year. We've got um, some smaller stuff too, some inexpensive things uh, that'll come out this fall. That'll be really really nice for the guy that doesn't want to spend more than two hundred bucks for an all-in solution. So we got that coming. Two hundred bucks for all-in. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, and it's great. It's good. So it'll, it'll be uh, it'll be nice. It'll really get the the average guy that's just not into spending five hundred bucks for a set of goggles. It'll, it'll get that person. The twice a month flyers. Yeah. Some of these flies around the house. Yeah, exactly. It's just the, the casual. Yeah. It's a big part of the industry, and, and there's not a lot of companies supporting that segment. So we're really trying. Well, that. the Nano QX2 is awesome. Yeah, it's been that, really popular. That's a really, yeah. really cool yeah. machine. Yeah, yeah. yeah with the, you can't break it. It's a staple. It's, yeah, it's really nice awesome. Yeah, funny story about that. We took that to Oshkosh this year. Uh, what was that last week? You were out there too. Yeah, I was at oh all weeks, so eight days. Oh, yeah. So and then I came here, and then yeah, so we took uh, ten of them out there yeah. for eight days, and we let thousands of people fly them. Yeah. All ten of them still work. Wow. And they were crashed. Were just, they flying with goggles too? Like uh, we had just, two TVs up just for like sanitary gotcha. reasons. It's kind of yeah. gross to put yeah. thousands yeah. of people's yeah. goggles on. Yeah. But they were all flying them to the goggles or line of sight. And it, there's a concrete floor and a net. And we just bash those things over and over again. And they're still cranking. So it's a pretty good <laughs> testament to the product. Really cool. That's the ultimate test. Yeah. That's, <laughs> awesome. That's what we need to do in the building. We're in a building right now. It's an old factory building. Mm -hmm. And on the third floor, I took Peter upstairs. There's this one area. It's all pillars about eight to ten feet apart. But it's... 6,000 square feet. Yeah, that'd be awesome. That would be an awesome indoor yeah, great uh, facility nano, for sure. nano QX yeah. Yeah, FPV. All right, I'm waiting but, for the video. Awesome. Wait for the video. Come out to Connecticut. All right. Jeez. I have casinos. Here. Come make your own. So, yeah, well, cool. great. Yeah, I don't know. Do you have another question? Awesome. No, yeah. I'm good. Glad, right. glad to so catch up today. Yeah, good to see you guys. Thanks for coming out. It's always yeah. a pleasure. We're going to go grab, uh, in the winter, we'll grab another RV and come on out and see you yeah. in the dead of winter. There's some uh, RV yeah. snow drifting. Yeah, some snow Absolutely. Drifting. <laughs> Wonderful. Steve, All right, man. Thanks, thanks a lot, so man. much. Thanks, guys. Good luck racing. Yeah. Appreciate uh, it. Take it easy, guys.